just bite the bullet, pay the money. The textured labyrinth, textured labyrinth black. Actually, no, never mind, cut that. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby if you are new here and of course we're back with our weekly buy or buy series I am so excited to check out what Lululemon's new releases are this week Of course all of these reactions and opinions are my own So it is okay if you have different opinions about these items Obviously not every item at Lululemon is going to work for everybody So I just wanted to say that quickly before we get into this video Okay, so right off the start here, of course, we have more Hawaiian blue color, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Now, these Swift Speed High Rise Tight, I've yet to actually try on, but I did watch Hope Scope's video, and she tried these on in her video, and she said the pockets were, like, buttery soft. That definitely makes me intrigued about these. I know they're replacing the Speed Up Tight, so I'm definitely interested about these leggings. I think the Hawaiian blue is such a great color. I love the reflective detail detail on them as well and they also have the kind of u-shaped seams on them so that's really interesting kind of the same as the unlimited type the textured labyrinth black light cast is an interesting pattern for me I definitely think it looks very busy and is not the most popular pattern perhaps patterns like these tend to go on markdown really quickly and they tend to stay on the markdowns for a long periods of time because they're just not that popular so interesting that they keep coming out with them obviously people still buy them I do enjoy this heritage camo print though I think it's very subtle and it's a nice hue of pink so it just adds like a little bit extra to the pattern without being like super in your face so I definitely think this one is way more wearable I would be more open to this kind of pattern than the textured one now we have the find your pace short if they didn't have these last year they had something super similar I love this sunset color this is going to be a new reoccurring color it's bright coral pink super great for summer these shorts definitely look very light which is great for running especially in the summer it is only a three inch inseam it just look longer on this model perhaps I definitely enjoy these so far and I would definitely be interested in trying them on at least we have a race kit hat in sunset yeah it's interesting the perforation on the actual cap part looks very interesting to me but overall like as a running hat sure I'm just not a big hat person I never have been so I don't choose to wear a hat which is probably not the best thing in the summer I'm definitely going to have to pass on that one but that could be a great item for summer running or even just like summer lounging around you know by the beach or something like that okay now we have this gold spice color which is interesting because like I think they came out with something super similar during the winter with like that cerulean blue so I'm not sure if this is a new color or they're just restocking this color or something like that personally I don't wear yellow at all but I think it's super flattering on this person's skin tone on the model here aligned pants of course are great interesting I'm not sure what you really would pair this with and then we have the water blossom multi again in pants this is just too much for me it's very busy even pairing it with like a more simple top I think it's just too much pattern for me personally like I would not wear this then we have smoked spruce as a new color as well in our invigorate tights here I think this is a lovely green color it will go with a lot of things I'd definitely be interested to see this one in store as well of course we have our speed up shorts in sunset and the quick start multi Hawaiian blue pattern and see in shorts like I honestly don't think these are that bad like it's way less of a pattern to be in your face up front maybe not with those socks however you know it's it's not as bad as the pants I think speed up shorts are absolutely my favorite shorts they have been for a while now and I know they just came out with some high-rise ones too but I'd definitely be interested in trying those ones on the flow Y bra also came out in that water blossom multi shade and honestly in a bra it's super cute I think that's you know reasonable for a sports bra as a set it looks like a lot that's not something I would wear maybe as a set but I think the bra 
as a bra it would be fine. We have some new colors in our Wonder Unders. Honestly, I love Wonder Unders. They are definitely a classic staple for me. I love the Luxe Dream fabric, but I definitely enjoy this Tidewater teal color. I think we've had this one before too. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like the perfect turquoise blue, obviously. I definitely really enjoy that shade. I love Grey Sage as well. The marble dye is not bad in these leggings. I definitely think as a set or with a white top, it looks really nice. I'm not sure how to style it otherwise. People are still loving the Le Tigre Camo Deep Cold Multi. Like everybody seems to be enjoying it. Personally, I still don't think I would wear this, but that's okay. More for you. Our Ebb to Street bras come in the sunset color. And now I haven't looked at, felt, tried on the new ribbed material. I'm very intrigued by it. I have heard good things about it so far. I love my high neck one. Now we have a new long sleeve shirt. This is the Ever Ready Long Sleeve. And actually I'm very interested in this shirt. I think all the colors are again, very nice. This one doesn't have like the weird seams in the back like the back in action one does. It looks more plain, basic seam stitching. So I'm actually very interested in this top. It is made from Pima cotton. So the same material as the Love Cruise and stuff like that. Yeah, I would actually probably purchase this. Hopefully it works out. I think it's a very nice shirt. It looks like it fits well. Thumbs up to that one. We also have a new color in our Fast and Free tights and this one's called Larkspur and it's kind of like an indigo violet color which I actually kind of like. I do have a pair of Fast and Free tights that I do enjoy so I'm definitely open to getting another pair. This color is very interesting. I haven't seen anything else in this specific color. I'm intrigued to see if they do release more in this shade, but I love the way she pairs it with like the space Nimbus gray color. Also would be intrigued. Now we have some Swiftly Breathe Muscle Tank tops. And I definitely like this Floral Fauna Cafe Olay and White Opal color. I don't think I'm a huge fan of the other ones. They're pretty basic, but I think this one's pretty nice. Could go with a lot of things. So yeah, decent. We also have some groove pants in Tidewater Teal. And I know these yoga pants are coming back, but I'm just not quite ready to hop on that bandwagon just yet. I will probably succumb to it eventually, but I'm definitely very late when it comes to wearing those trends. There's nothing wrong with the groove pants, honestly. It's just a classic, like literally a classic. Like that's the first thing kind of Lululemon came out with and no one really liked the tighter leggings, but now it's kind of reversed. So that's super interesting. This capped short sleeve tee, I think is a miss for me. It just looks very awkward on the model and I think it would look very awkward on me personally as well. I still love this white opal color and pink mist. I think those are great colors, but I don't know, this t-shirt just looks weird. That's not the best thing so far out of this video. So I will be saving my money on that one. And now we have something very interesting from Lulu. Lemon. It is some Swift Speed Race briefs. Yeah, um, wow. Why? Like, oh, I mean, yes, I get it. If you're running, people wear this better aerodynamics, whatever, less material. So you're running, you got more movement. So be it, okay. Looks like a swimsuit, I suppose. I just personally wouldn't run in like a swimsuit thing. This is so not for me at all. Wow. I mean, props to you if you're gonna wear this running. Yeah, this is a definite no for me. Very interesting though. Very interesting that they came out with this. I would be super curious to see what the reviews are on this, but let me know your first impressions and first thoughts. If you run, would you wear this? I personally would not. This is just something way too bold. That's my opinion. They also came out with some added flair high rise crops. So we are kind of going back to the gauchos thing, which is again, not something I'm totally prepared to jump on right away, but I definitely see this kind 
of being like if you're on that like more trendy like curve of it like you are ready and eager to be trendy then I can see this being for you for me I'm just not quite there yet still getting over gauchos when I wore them as a child so I mean gorgeous colors of course we also have a wrap front mock neck crop short sleeve and I really enjoy the kind of mock neck shirt thing however I don't know how to feel about this shirt like a part of me says wow that's super pretty I love it but I think I love it more on the model than I would on myself but that being said I would definitely have to try it on see where that kind of hits my body like for her it's just a little bit above the leggings so it's not bad. I don't know how to feel, to be honest. In theory, I think it's a super cute top. On me, I'm honestly not sure. So with that being said, we're going to take a rain check on that one. We also have a lightweight run kit tank top. I mean, yeah, it's kind of your standard muscle tank thing. They got a few like overlap seams like the shorts do. Pretty decent, pretty standard, I think. Am I dying to have it? No but would I be open to it? Yes. We also have the lightweight run jacket. I actually really like the look of these off of my first impression. Both colors again are gorgeous. I think it would be a very nice light jacket, would be perfect. Definitely does have a lot of mesh ventilation, so that's great. Obviously it's made for running, but even in the summer, you know, if you need something a little light, but like not, I don't know, but still breathable, you know what I mean? I think this would be actually a great jacket so they also released one more la thing this is the la cap sleeve crop tee and i just yeah i know this is very trendy but i think it just looks kind of dumb to be honest i don't know i don't get it so yeah designed for on the move so not really like to work out in it's more like that trendy athleisure thing but that's just not my style so i will pass <laughs> then we have a all it takes long sleeve new Lou. Again, this shirt looks like a great fitting long sleeve basic shirt. It does have like the same ruching as the short sleeve one, which is super flattering in my opinion. This rosemary green is a gorgeous color. So yeah, I'd definitely be very open to, you know, testing one of these out. The price tag, however, is a little steep, of course, but all of their long sleeve shirts are a little pricey. Lululemon in general is pricey, so I'm not sure if it's worth, you know, forking over all the money for it, but if it goes on markdown, I would definitely pick one up. And hopefully they come out with more colors than this as well. I mean, great start, but I would also hold out, you know, if there's that perfect color, then I would definitely go ahead and just bite the bullet, pay the money. But I do enjoy that shirt off of my first impressions. So that is all for Lululemon's releases today. I think they had some awesome new releases, some things that I would be very interested in at least trying on. So that's a good thumbs up, a great release from Lululemon this week. Of course, there's always some items that I don't necessarily enjoy, but definitely let me know your opinions on some of these items. That's my thoughts on this week's releases. So that is all for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new buy or buy video in this series. And leave me a comment down below on your opinion of some of these new releases. Is it something that you're going to pick up right away or maybe wait for it to go on markdown? I love chatting with you guys in the comments. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.